The Buffalo Bills take the long trip west for Monday Night Football against the Seattle Seahawks Monday, November 7th in Week 9 NFL action. The Bills were blasted by the New England Patriots and the Seahawks came up short in the Superdome against the New Orleans Saints in Week 8. Given the home field advantage for a Monday Night Football matchup with cross-country travel, the initial line suggested that the Seahawks were about three and a half or four points better than the Bills on a neutral field. The Bills are 4-4 four four straight up and 4-4 four four against the number so far this season, while the Seahawks are 4-2-1 straight up and 3-4 and against the spread. There are not really any surprises in the Bills' season-to-date results. They've covered when they've won, and they have not when they've lost. The Bills have been much stronger offensively since Anthony Lynn took over for Greg Roman, as they've scored at least 25 points in five of the last six games since the change was made. LaShawn McCoy missed the game this past Sunday against the New England Patriots. The Bills were still able to run the ball effectively as they rushed for 6.4 yards per carry without him, but he is a vital part of the offense. The injury did force Tyroid Taylor to use his legs a little bit more, and Mike Gillespie did find some holes. The Bills got really creative offensively, which was nice to see. But the defense faltered, and the early hold changed the game plan a little bit for the Bills. The unfortunate thing for Buffalo here is that it's very hard to run the ball on Seattle, who has allowed just 3.4 yards per carry. Tyroid Taylor has taken care of the football with a 9-2 touchdown interception ratio, but he's only averaging 174 passing yards per game and has only completed 58.7% of his throws. Rob Ryan continues to be aggressive with defenses wherever he goes, and the Bills are no different. The secondary has had some issues when the team has not gotten to the quarterback. Buffalo is tied for the best mark in the NFL in sacks category, but they are also third in most yards allowed per catch. The Bills are minus 347 yards in yards after catch, and that has been a really big problem for them this season. They've given up 27 plays of 20 or more yards in the passing game and 13.1 yards per catch. The key to this game defensively will be if the Buffalo Pass rush can take advantage of the terrible Seahawks offensive line. If it can, the Bills defense can hold Seattle to a low number. If it cannot, Russell Wilson's mobility could become a real problem. We have not yet seen Russell Wilson completely healthy this season. First it was a knee and an ankle, and then last week it was a pectoral muscle. With Earl Thomas's defensive score, the Seahawks only have 13 offensive points in the last two games against Arizona and New Orleans. That's not a great sign going into this game. Russell was 22 of 34 for 253 yards with no touchdowns and a pick against the Saints. The vertical passing game has not been there with no time to throw and a banged up quarterback and there's been no running game to speak of this season. Christine Michael has averaged 4.2 yards per carry, but the Seahawks rush for 3.2 yards on average. The Seattle defense is still pretty strong. The Seahawks have allowed just 3.4 yards per carry, which becomes a serious strength in a matchup against the Bills. The Seattle secondary has allowed 61.4% completion rate, but they have 21 sacks. They have not missed as many tackles in space after receptions as the Bills have. That's a check mark in Seattle's column for what is starting to look like a very low scoring game with two teams that have lackluster offenses and good defenses. Seattle has been uncharacteristically weak in the turnover department, forcing only seven turnovers in seven games this season. And the run heavy Bills do not turn the ball over very much. If there's a stray seven out there, take it and give it a good home. This should be a low scoring matchup and that certainly benefits the team getting the points. The long travel spot and the trip to Seattle isn't a big deal this week or next week because Buffalo has a bye at the optimal time. The Seahawks don't look like a team operating with enough efficiency to blow somebody out this week. So the points look very attractive. Our pick and prediction is for the Buffalo Bills at plus seven. For our pick and prediction on this game and every other game this week, and a wealth of free stats and information, check out bangthebook.com.